we got a break in the rain, so we're going to do a update on the homestead plan, and that's coming up right now. trying container gardens. In this one we planted a cat and we'll see what happens. So we had a pretty good yield. Uh, we got four kittens from that cat plant we had. So not bad for a first try. Hi this is Todd from Sniping Rhino Ranch. In today's video we're going to give you an update on what's going on here at Sniping Rhino Ranch. If you've watched our 2019 homestead plan, a lot's changed. And if you're a homesteader, or maybe it's just us, plans change all the time. So we're gonna tell you what we've got going on and what you can expect to see over the next few months here at Sniping Rhino Ranch. First, I wanna start behind me here. We've got our uh, container garden here. And we're just putting them here right now. We're practicing doing that. Originally, we wanted to extend our uh, lower garden that didn't happen things just got in the way and the amount of fill we were going to use ended up being pretty uh, cost prohibited so we're looking at different spots to put the uh, garden extension but we're doing containers garden just to kind of experiment with that and behind us or behind that you can see our upper garden it's just a, it's a really small one we've got pink and red flags marking the row the pink flags are actually marking um, our heirloom seeds, and then the red flags are our uh, hybrid seeds. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a, a big uh, production from our hybrid seeds while getting uh, our heirloom seeds to, to grow as well and then harvest the seeds from that. So let's see what else we have going on. So behind me here, we've got our lower garden. Um, we, we have some blackberry bushes that are uh, already planted. We didn't want to bother them. Again, we have the pink and red flags marking what are hybrid seeds and what are heirloom seeds. And then if you look down there, we've got our uh, range. Basically, this is our medium distance range uh, behind me here. And it goes out to about 130 yards. We've got several different ranges that we've built here on the range. Uh, going from 25 yards to 430 yards. Not a line of distance for long distance shooting, but it's good for the boys. So let's go look at some animals, huh? So those are our goats. If you watched our getting our uh, first goats video, you know we have a small holding pen. We're currently going to build all back here and put a bigger field, but that's in the process of happening right now. And you can see some of the uh, materials that we're using for that. Over here is where our holding pen is. They uh, were eating that down pretty hard, so basically we moved them over here, and we'll uh, probably move them back to the holding pen once that grows up a little bit, in probably a week or so. And then we'll move the pen and just do that until we get our, our big field, you know, built. So that's what's going on with that. Let's go look at the chickens, huh? So these are our chickens. They're our chicken coop. And uh, we just released our chicken coop video last week on how we built it. Um, we have several different ages of chickens in here. We have the first 16 that we incubated, which if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. And then we have a, uh, some 4-H chickens that we got. We've got this gate separating them to uh, just allow them to kind of ease into getting introduced to the slightly bigger chickens, which are only about three weeks older, uh, but there is a significant size difference. We also have 25 meat chickens, and I'll show you them here pretty quick. And uh, we've got, I think, another 11 or so 
that we hatched and those things are getting ready to come out of the brooder and come in here in the next couple weeks. And then we also have, I think, 14 chickens and like six ducks in our incubator right now. So we're really building this up. Currently, we have a little fenced-in area. We just bought some more fencing. We're going to uh, extend it up. We have a lot of cats, and um, we have a dog. In fact, he's sitting right there. And they're not used to chickens. And so we've got this up so they can get outside. Our intent is we'll remove the fence, and they'll free range during the day. But until they get a little bit bigger so they can protect themselves from the pets, we're just going to kind of leave them in this fenced-in area. So I'm down at our guest house. We've been putting the brooders in here, um, which has been a lot longer with all the chickens we've been getting than we originally expected. But this is also where we do a lot of our shooting. You can see we've got the target down there. And if you look down in our lower field, you can see a target about 55 yards and one about 130. And we can actually shoot out to about 180 yards from, from this shooting spot. And then we just extended it by bush hog in this area. And we're going to actually widen out the left side a little bit when we we're checking it out. And that's going to add quite a, a big distance. It can actually, uh, will add to about a 310 yard shot just going to lower field. And then across the creek, you can just barely see our hay field over there. It'll allow us to, uh, shoot out to about 430 yards 410 yards somewhere around there so that's our kind of rifle range our kind of medium long distance range and then we have some pistol ranges and then a close range ar ranges down at the bottom of the hill and i don't know we'll maybe we'll walk down there the weather is has been raining for the last few days and and i'm trying to film this in between rainstorms but let me show you my meat chickens real quick so here are all our uh, kind of the homemade brooder for our meat chickens. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but one of the things, this is our first time doing meat chickens, um, pretty much chickens in general, but they have a huge amount of feces that they uh, produce. So we have to clean this out, we're finding out, um, pretty much every day. So once they get a little bit bigger, probably about the six week mark. Uh, we'll move them outside to where we won't have to be worrying about uh, all of this. So anyway, that's our meat chickens. So these are our other chickens. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think there's 12 in here actually. Um, they're kind of our in between our big, big hatches. And uh, actually some of these we actually bought. So they're too small to go into the coop, um, so they're kind of in this brooder we got from our neighbor. And again, if you haven't seen our chicken brooder uh, video, check that out. But they're in here, and in probably about four, uh, five weeks, they'll go up in the chicken coop with the rest. So behind me is our short distance pistol range for speed shooting. We're basically setting up a course. Uh, we'll start at the end of our driveway, sprint to here, you'll shoot. Uh, pistol and then you'll come up here. We're going to be putting a short distance AR range So you'll you'll shoot that sprint up the hill do your long distance shooting and then go to that first range in the back there by the garden and it'll do a, a maneuver shotgun range so just getting the boys uh, Some practice doing that. I don't know if you can see it, but the rain is starting to come here So I'm going to end this video but real quick, some things that you can start to expect to see from us. Some shooting videos, more videos on our goats and our chickens and our gardens, and a lot of uh, improvements that will be going around there. That and some stuff on homeschooling and anything we can think of. It's raining, so I'm going to take off. If you are not a subscriber, make sure and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. And make sure and leave a comment, whether here on this video or on our page. Let us know. What do you think? What do you want to see from us? How are we doing? We're new at this and we need all the help we can get. And if you haven't checked us out on Facebook or some of our other social media, make sure and click on the links in the description and check that out. Like our Facebook page and I'll see you later. This is Todd from Sniping Rental Ranch.
have a great day. I'm gonna run now.